सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड इनफैक्ट टूडे इज द लास्ट समप फॉर दिस यू एच वी थ्री सो we've been even yesterday we were doing a sum up of whatever we have learned in uh v3 where we were trying to study the human being nature and existence in a little more depth than in the introductory workshop or the introductory course because ultimately if we want to look at our living if we want to see the continuity in our happiness we have to understand things and essentially that involves understanding the human being and everything that the human being relates to or is living with which means understanding essentially everything in the existence so this is what we tried to do and yesterday in the sum up we had um, also tried to give an assignment so that we can reflect on the learnings that we have had from uhv3 and we are able to see how far we are able to bring it in our living ultimately the course whatever we are talking this is information so at the level of thought we receive this information but then after that we need to churn this information within ourselves explore it within ourselves do the necessary um exploration so that we can understand things for ourselves see them directly as a part of uhv3 we try to do that in the exercises and we'll be doing the sum up of that also today but um, as we go along we have been talking about various assignments essentially to draw your attention to the significance of not just what we have heard but how much of it we have been able to bring into our living so it's one thing to be able to say yes um this is the right answer for that the right answer it's about am i able to be in harmony or not am i able to see this happiness that we are talking about or not within myself so for that we need to investigate into it a little more so when we say you know are you able to see you know we may be thinking about it and we may say yes we are able to see but the real challenge the real test comes when we are actually interacting with others then we are able to see if we are really able to understand or it is just that we think about it but our sanskars take over and we haven't really fully understood things so of course it's a long journey so it is not the expectation that after doing uhv3 you have understood everything completely but it is a process it is a journey so the more sincerely we try to look at this ourselves the more sincerely we explore 
the more we will be able to see. The content is the same. We are delivering the same thing for everyone. But each one of us may take something different out of it. Our interpretation may be something different out of it, depending on our own competence, from which level we are trying to see. But ultimately, the more we pay attention inside, the more we will be able to see. That's how it is. So one of the um, reflection points was the same that in all the important decisions that we make, we can try to see which activity of the self is primarily responsible for these decisions. That means those decisions that we are taking, where is the motivation for those decisions coming from? so that we can see where we stand. And then when we look outside, what we are doing outside for human conduct, that is a reflection of our inner self in the outside world. So we of course need to relate it to our conduct and see for the conduct also which activities of the self it is coming from. And added on to this was whether we are able to observe the existence in all four orders or not. Ultimately, we have to extend this to the realization of the coexistence in space. So all this in the assignment, this is a long drawn out process. We don't expect that with this assignment, we will be able to finish the task today. Assignments will have to continue. Even though the course finishes, but the exploration has to continue. Only then can we you know, eventually be able to reach where we want to reach. So if anybody would like to share their observations about the assignment, then um, they can share now. We can talk about it. We can discuss it. Or if there's a question, Somebody has a question regarding whatever we discussed in the course, then we can take that up. And then we'll move on to the final sum up today and perhaps talk a little bit about the self evaluation processes. Good morning, ma'am. Namaste. Namaste to all. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, regarding that uh, decision making uh, mm -hmm. by referring my natural acceptance mm -hmm. uh, uh, myself observe that uh, like a um, tasting and selecting uh, I observe regarding that food I like to eat the food um, but uh, when I observe my natural acceptance uh, I have a habit of drinking a tea and a coffee regularly in the earlier time, but that crave is not there, but I cannot say no to tea. Uh, whenever I tired, I like to have a cup of tea. Uh, that indicates that I know that it, my natural acceptance, when I refer, it is not good to take, but my sanskar, is overcome that uh, I need, uh, like uh, I reduce, but I cannot uh, uh, completely say no, ma. That is the one thing regarding that food. And uh, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, one incident is happened. Uh, one of our uh, uh, staff is in the lower cadre with respect to me. He shouted 
and give a guidance or suggestion to me by the time i observe myself uh, like he sh- i am not ready to take his uh, words uh, mm-hmm. coolly uh, comfort i am not feel comfortable who is he to give the guidance to me so mm-hmm. i check my uh, feeling that i still stick on to that character i am not consider he is also a person like me i maybe the because of the position i am thinking in that way and uh, uh, i also share that uh, earlier that whenever i am giving that uh, um, uh, guidelines to my co-workers who are working under me i have a, maybe i have a precondition that yeah i uh, sometime it is reduced uh, definitely but sometime i raise my voice and give that uh, guidelines uh, so uh, that means uh, if i raise the voice they may be accept me uh, so that they will follow like that preconditions are the previous experience uh, still it is dominating uh so my decision is not 100% always uh, taking with referring the natural acceptance that is the my observation ma'am ji yeah. very nice very sincere and very honest exploration in fact this is what is going to help you move you know further in the exploration so yeah. it's it's really good that you are looking into yourself as we go along we are seeing in more and more depth in these subtle exchanges how things are happening how we are so entangled with our sanskars that we when it comes to challenges when it comes to interactions we slip or we lose awareness yeah but the very good thing is that you are noticing this and even more what is commendable is that you are sharing this because with this sharing so many others who have similar experiences will also be able to relate to it and their attention will also be drawn to you know such incidents in their living so i think the first step to getting past a situation is first of all accepting that there is an issue here that acceptance i can see very readily in your sharing that you are able to see very easily that you are not there yet but you are working on it the moment we see it the moment we accept that it is there and we don't want it to be there we start working to come out of it yeah isn't it yeah ma'am yeah so like for instance you said about the tea or coffee mm mm-hmm. lot of times we justify that you know tea is good because there is milk in it and you need some energy and things like that or we may say you know um to perk up when we are feeling drowsy or sleepy it's a good thing and so on but you will find as you go along you will find that in fact a lot of times it may just be that we feel the need to have something warm especially in seasons like this when it is you know rainy weather or um slightly cooler weather and a lot of times what may help is 
to try to see what we can substitute which is nurturing for the body and yet takes care of this need so for instance you know you can try with things like herbal teas mm. you can try with um say green teas hmm? things yeah. like that which are not really um you don't get the same taste but you certainly get the warmth of the liquid going down and you may find that that is sometimes you know enough and you don't feel the need for more but these things are a gradual process it's like for everything for instance um say a diabetic who is fond of sweets mm. so now um it's not uh, you know giving up that taste sensation doesn't mean that you can't eat anything sweet it just means that you eat something which is nurturing for the body so you make substitutions like in place of sugar you substitute jaggery and so on you know so many other things instead of um processed sweets you can move to fruit and so on but what i'm saying is the important thing is as we start seeing you know one thing can be that i am forced to um sort of move towards sensations that are like taste especially that are nurturing for the body because some damage has happened to the body and now i am fearful that if i continue like this there will be further damage to the body this is one way of doing it but this yeah. is not the best way because here we have an underlying fear which is a feeling not naturally acceptable to us we are holding on to you know attached to the body and because of that we are doing it. there is another way which is that we are looking at our referring to our natural acceptance proactively even before we see problems in the body and we proactively say that okay this is right for the body this is not right for the body and so we make adjustments that doesn't mean that we don't enjoy the taste anymore there can be many foods that are nurturing for the body and yet are tasty so we look at alternatives we are focus shifts from the taste part to the purpose of the food and i am sure that you are able to see that for many things but you are sharing what you have had less success with perhaps and that is important for us to in our journey to try to improve to pay attention to where we need to focus what more we need to do and so on so you know continue to do your exploration and i am sure that you will you know be able to go it is it takes it's a you know long process it's a journey so as we keep going we don't need to worry we don't need to react we don't need to feel okay i have still not happened it has not happened but we just need to look at it and see that this is something i need to work a little more on and keep working on it and slowly you will notice that in a very natural way we slowly start progressing towards more and more of feelings that are naturally acceptable 
So all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar to all. Hey, namaste. Madam, uh, yesterday what I explored, uh, actually a lot of uh, tasks are uh, uh, given to us by the management. So I was thinking, uh, can I finish this uh, in time and uh, which one is to be uh, uh, handled first and uh, which is to be later? Like that I was thinking. So uh, I have to take decision. Uh, so to answer your first question, actually in the assignment, uh, the important decision and which activity of the self that is primarily responsible, then I, the comparing and analyzing activities of the self are the, I mean, what responsible things, well, because I am comparing, suppose if I do this, what would happen and analyzing. So based on that, I made the one order of priority. So then uh, what efforts uh, you make to improve uh, you are giving that question so uh, making to raise this to higher activity because uh, i feel a little bit uh, uh, what can i say a uh, little tension also so then i thought myself my the uh, feeling uh, uh, um, wanting the, to be in happy is the requirement of myself these uh, things should not actually disturb, but uh, I'm getting disturbed. Then what I do, uh, okay, whatever the works may be, I have already kept in order. In that order, whatever I can, I will do. But I will be happy always. I should not depend on um, the finishing of the actions or... Uh, uh, the quality of the actions, I should not. I will try my level best. Like that, I am giving the effort to go to the higher level, madam. This is my exploration. Kindly correct it. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> See, a lot of the times, we will notice that instead of working in the present, yeah, madam. we are either repenting about something that we did or did not do in the past, or we are worrying about something that may or may not happen in the future. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Yes. So we end up not utilizing the time correctly by shifting gears to being in the past or being in the future. But like the decision that you made, that you yeah. shared just now, that you decided I have tried to prioritize. I will start doing one by one. And whatever I can accomplish, I accomplish. The whole point is that if I am focused and I am doing the task, whatever is possible for me to do, whatever to the best of my ability, I do. But the outcome is not always up to me. So I can put in my effort, like that example that we give, that if you are lighting a fire, you, know, you can collect the wood, you can keep it there, you can light a match, but whether the fire will come up or not depends on many other things. Yes, ma'am. The, the wood may be little wet, there could be a breeze, you know, so many things may be possible. The wood is damp, the matchsticks are not okay, there is a breeze so it doesn't catch fire, so many things. But certainly with the, whatever best we can do, we can make the effort and then um, look for the outcome. Like you said, the important part is, are we looking to be happy when we finish the task or are we being happy doing the task? Yeah, exactly, madam. So, nice. Thank you. We'll go ahead. Uh, next slide. Yeah. So, we said when we talked of our role in this existence, 
it is to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence two small sentences but a lifetime of work or many lifetimes of work so when we say the to understand the coexistence if we can see what the pattern or the design of coexistence is we find that it is one of coexistence harmony and relationship so we can say that that our role is to understand the coexistence the harmony the relationship and then to live in coexistence in harmony and relationship so next slide so here you can see that this whole you know living in coexist understanding it and living it this involves all of these steps that have been mentioned here that we have gone through many times i won't go through each step now but essentially working to awaken to the higher activities within us so that we can directly observe the coexistence from the level of realization of the self so working within the self then with an understanding of the goal being able to identify what is it that we have to do what does it mean to live in coexistence and then seeing my role how i have to go about it so coming down to from the higher activities to the lower activities within myself setting my lower activities right in line with the higher activities seeing that i am at the level of selecting tasting for a certain thing and then trying to see how best i can bring it in line with my purpose of food for nurturing the body so bringing my lower activities in the b2 block in line with the higher activities in the b1 block and as we keep working with ourselves we find in more and more instances we take such decisions that are in line with the b1 block because our attention is drawn to it earlier we may not have been looking at this but now that we are seeing this we are able to pay attention to all this that is happening within us we are also able to bring our attention or you know our focus on bringing all our lower activities in line with the higher activities and then as a natural progression of this or a natural expression of this it comes in our living so in our entire interaction with others with other human beings we express what processes we have gone through within so our conduct is an expression of what we are the work we are doing within ourselves ultimately conduct has to do with all of these because it is the self that is deciding so you can see the major part of the work is done in the self and as an expression of that with the help of the body we do the work outside that expression outside eventually will lead to the final outcome the final outcome may not be up to me but certainly all this essential work that has to be done in the self that those are my decisions that is entirely up to me my state of happiness is entirely up to me it has nothing to do with somebody else outside so being 
happy within as a natural expression i will work for the happiness of others so on the one end we are working inside for realization on the other end we are working outside in the society as a natural outcome of the work that we are doing inside next slide for this you know human conduct to be what we would like it to be that means for understanding the coexistence harmony and relationship and for living in this coexistence harmony and relationship we said first and foremost that we have to realize the coexistence now how to realize the coexistence so many times people say yes but how to do it how to do this how to do that but again and again we come back to what we have been you know saying even in this course that first thing is we you know understand as information what we have to do so that we try to do through the lectures then we have to actually try to bring it in our living so we have to practice it that practice we try to do through the practice sessions or the exercise 1 and 2 eventually exercise 3 will also come about but before we can get to exercise 3 first we have to build our competence to be able to see through you know work through exercise 1 and 2 so we try to do that and we'll do a brief sum up of that also again we are looking at you know just now we saw once you reach realization you bring all your lower activities in line with that when you are going from below to the top which is the case for most of us and which we can see that we are working step by step and we may be able to see where we are you know in this process so slowly we are moving up from selecting tasting to analyzing comparing to imaging to contemplating so that <coughs> we can see our role our purpose and bringing our imaging our desires our feelings in line with that ultimately seeing not just with other human beings but with all of nature there is a certain harmony there is a certain self organization and seeing how i can be a part of it by ensuring the self organization within myself so for instance ensuring the feeling of self regulation ensuring the harmony within myself by having the right feeling at all times so all of this journey i am doing i am working and with that ultimately i have this need to be able to see the basis how everything is the way it is that wonder that all that how things are in essence running so smoothly how it has been this in this manner so with that i am you know work for becoming aware of the activity of realization once i have the competence to reach there i am directly able to see even the subtle realities i am directly able to see even the space and when i am able to see the space then i am able to see this coexistence this submergence of all the units in space so now step by step this is going from below up next slide so this we already just mentioned that 
we try to get the information at least through the lectures and practically when what we are trying to do the direct observation we are trying to do through the practice sessions practice sessions 1 to 14 which means through exercise 1 and 2 there are seven steps in each exercise and of course eventually we get to exercise 3 but before we get to exercise 3 we need to have the competence to be able to go through exercise 1 and 2 and see it practically in our living that is when we can say that we have really understood and are able to ensure that so let's look at that next slide so in this program of action in this self exploration first and foremost there is the self exploration as part of this whole process so whatever proposals that are put before us we try to verify them how do we try to verify them even though we can't see or we may not be yet able to see the coexistence at least we have a natural acceptance for it we have a natural acceptance for the coexistence for the harmony for the relationship so with that we you know we work on our thoughts our feelings our desires and try to bring them in line so for that what do we need what we have mentioned in the second point self awareness only if we are aware of what we are thinking what we are feeling can we see if it is in line or not and so awareness of our feeling our thought our expectation that are going on constantly and that are changing very frequently we think we have understood things but yet when somebody who is say in a position junior to us speaks in a loud voice and gives us some you know, says something or tells us about how we should do things we get offended and we think who is he to tell me how to do things because i have assumed something about that person being in a lower position to me i have assumed something about how a position somebody who is in a position lower than me should relate to me or how that person should talk to me so many of those sanskars and that has impacted my feeling and so my feeling changes to one of opposition now becoming aware of such not only you know when i have problems in interaction but being aware proactively of my feeling my thought my expectation all the time every moment so that is self awareness and the self evaluation is evaluating these feelings thoughts expectations on the basis of the natural acceptance and seeing that since my natural acceptance is for relationship for harmony for coexistence is my feeling thought expectation in line with this or not and here we mostly have to worry only about the feeling not worry but we mostly have to work on the feeling when we work on the feeling then the thought and the expectation naturally flow along with the feeling so we have to work on the feeling then when you work on the feeling you realize that the feeling is being driven by the sanskar 
वट एवर आई हैव एक्सेप्टेड सो आई हैव टू लुक डीपर देन द फीलिंग ऑल्सो आई हैव टू लुक एट माई संस्कार so if you see here what is given about sanskar it is an acceptance that has come out of the sum total of all my feeling thought expectations over time so many things i may have experienced many things i may have heard many preconditionings i have and over time i have drawn some conclusions out of that like a summary kind of like how you know all that the plant needs to grow that information is there in the seed so similarly all that i have concluded from all my past experiences from everything that i have gotten from outside with all of that the conclusions that i have drawn they are there in me in in a kind of a seed form in the form of the sanskar so i need to become aware of that because i may think it's not there because i may not be able to see it but just as the seed germinates when the conditions are right when it has soil when it has moisture sunlight it germinates so also the sanskar which i might sanskars which might be lying dormant in me when there is a condition like that condition of somebody shouting at me now it might germinate or it might come up and then it drives my feeling so like we were just taking that example then i have a feeling of opposition so i have to work on my sanskars ultimately i have to see my sanskars i have to bring them in line with my natural acceptance and create a new sanskar uh, madam in this slide uh, <coughs> what does the t indicate t plus 1 finally wrote yeah so whatever sanskars we have okay oh, at a particular time say at this time i have a certain sanskar now this is with whatever environment i have right now now at this time if i am doing some exploration right hmm. with that like we said we can create a new sanskar based on my self exploration so in the next moment which is being given as t plus 1 hmm. in the next moment in time i may have a different sanskar okay madam is it yeah yeah thank you madam uh, the 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 uh, basically the sanskars uh, uh, we can uh, Uh, one can be able to change uh, based on uh, uh, ref- reference with the natural acceptance uh, am i correct mm-hmm. yes yes absolutely uh, this sanskars uh, not so easy to uh, change uh, but by practice and uh, by understanding and uh, refer natural acceptance we can be able to by practice we can do that okay yes. Uh, yes. so individual as is uh, one uh, ability to change its sanskars so it is all depends on uh, self only there whoever Absolutely. about so yeah. if we uh, uh, suppose myself able to uh, change uh, give the happiness to others suppose i lost okay. your voice um, uh, 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 most of the cases uh, myself i am uh, able to uh, happy myself and create uh, my sanskar change my sanskar everything mm-hmm. but other sir uh, i think uh, i am unable to do anything unless they realize their own am i correct mm-hmm. yeah i mean i will make effort yeah all the time i will make sure that i have the feeling of relationship for them yeah but 
thing i will make effort but the outcome in them is not entirely up to me isn't it yeah uh, yes. unless they realize them themselves uh, it is not possible to make uh, make them happy myself yes. am i correct <laughs> that's true but uh, when we say make them happy it's true that we can't make the other happy but when we are having the right feeling from our side and expressing that feeling to the other okay generally you will find that other doesn't have any problem with the right behavior and right feeling so okay, they will be their samskars uh, uh, we are uh, it is not in our hand to uh, change their samskars uh, whatever efforts we make um well when we make effort it helps the other change their sanskar let's put it this way like now we are doing this na uhv3 and we worked on the exercises now those exercises are helping draw your attention to your sanskars That's we'll come to that in in uh, exercise 2 step 5 okay. we are talking about the issues no how we are giving meaning to something that is our sanskar okay in the sofa sanskar we are giving some meaning to something now we we are talking about this we are making this effort together you are listening right okay but with that you are also exploring yes and eventually with your exploration you are able to change the sanskar yes so certainly the effort from our side will help in the process yes but uh, Sometimes uh, I found uh, even people are not. Uh, yeah, like outcome is up to the other. Eventually, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll go a little faster because we are uh, going quite slow, and there is quite some things to cover. So, um, eventually, we have to awaken. to these higher activities we have to purify our sanskar all the acceptances that we have developed within ourselves we have to bring these acceptances in line with our natural acceptance in line with the higher activities or the b1 block that is the whole purpose now next slide so how to go about this we talked about this in exercise 1 and 2 next slide yeah so go further the purpose of living with happiness we talked about this essentially what we said is we have to have right understanding in the self we have to have right feeling right thought in the self and we have to have the competence for right living with the world outside these are the three things we had said we need to do to ensure this continuity of happiness next slide so for this you know competence see right understanding of the reality that means everything that we can relate to so myself the body the family i am in the society nature existence everything so we can also look at it as all these units that are submerged in space and then if we look at to the units then we can see that there are material units there are consciousness units so looking at these material and consciousness units submerged in space all this seeing within myself would be working for right understanding or having the right understanding right feeling right thought is according to the coexistence so right feeling and right thought of relationship harmony and coexistence this is also in the self then when it comes to competence for right living living in relationship and all of this so the decisions are happening in the self and then when i am taking the help of the body i am expressing it outside in my behavior in my work in my participation 
So basically, all the work that really needs to be done has to be done in the cell. Next slide. So that's why we our major focus was first on the self in exercise one. Next, next slide. So when we were paying attention, looking within in exercise one, trying to see the self directly by the self, seeing the imagination within the self. So ultimately, we have to pay attention to understand. So when we pay attention, one is what to pay attention to, the other is how to go about it, the process of paying attention. Next slide. So, the object of attention is whatever has to be understood, what we just talked about. Process of paying attention is to become aware, to see your imagination, to evaluate without reacting. Next slide. What is to be understood? We just spoke of that. The units and the space or the coexistence. So, in exercise one, we try to understand the consciousness or the self in detail. In exercise two, we try to understand the body, the material in detail. And then eventually, we will work on exercise three, which is to understand the space. Next slide. Basically, when it comes to the space, we can um, sort of get a hint of that by trying to see the distance between two units and the relationship between two units. But eventually, we have to develop the competence to be able to directly see it. Next slide. And to see or to observe, I have to only look within. I don't need the body, I don't need the eyes, I can just give rest to the body. I just need to look within and observe. Look within meaning, I just have to pay attention inside. Next slide. So, all of this work has to be done by the self. Seeing the self, seeing the body, seeing the coexistence. Everything has to be done by the self. Next slide. We may have been paying a lot of attention outside and we developed so many assumptions based on whatever we saw outside. And with whatever we assumed based on the outside, then we, you know, look within. Now, if we look, if we pay attention to the inside, Instead of going out to in, we pay attention inside first. And with that attention inside, then we also pay attention outside. As and when required. So we will see that we need to pay attention inside all the time. Like we were talking, you know. Within moments, our feeling changes. So we have to pay attention inside all the time. Paying attention outside may not be required all the time, but from time to time. Next slide. So with that, we had tried to observe the self by the self in exercise one. Next slide. Uh, this we already discussed. Next slide. Yeah, so this is a sort of a brief recap of all the seven steps of exercise one. I'll not go through the steps. These are available. We can go through them. In fact, we should be going through them if we are doing our exploration on a regular basis. Um, but I'll not take you know, all the steps. Next slide. Yeah. 
the important points are one is the first step which is the most important being aware of your imagination your feeling thought expectation every moment being aware of it not reacting to it not trying to stop it trying to change it or anything but this is even though it seems very simple it's a very important step and with this you know being aware evaluating our feeling seeing whether it is natural or not all this we did in steps 2 and 3 seeing that i am the one who is responsible i am the one who is taking care of that decision and what is my basis in step 5 is it understanding or is it some assumption in the lack of understanding so ultimately when i base it on my natural acceptance i am in line with the understanding yes next yeah so ultimately we could see that it is the feelings of relationship harmony and coexistence that are naturally acceptable to me and that is how i could see in step 7 that this is what i need to do i need to ensure this feeling and thought in line with this so that i can be happy at every moment next slide our time is also up but um next slide this we already spoke of so um we'll stop here we'll try to do this um you know brief uh, finish this uh, tomorrow and then we'll have some of our uh participants who have been there from before who will put one by one some sharing so that you can have a look at that we'll also talk about the points for sharing so that you can follow those step by step and give your sharing 